Um, my name is Laura Russell and I am a PhD student in uh, Southern Ireland. I'm based in the Tyndall National Institute and University College Cork. And so what's your involvement in the team? What do you actually do? So um, a year and a half ago I joined the research group and um, I am working on a cold atom experiment. Um, so this is a uh, a, a big experiment which has been set up and been running in my group for uh, four years by, by now. So I've taken over from the two senior PhD students who have been working on it previously. Okay, so how did you actually get involved in physics as well? What so when I was studying uh, in school for my final exams, um, I actually took up physics uh, at the last moment before my exams. and. Uh, I studied the course within five months and managed to get into the college course. Um, I did this because I realised that actually it's the one area that I really wanted to go into, you know, I just really felt a passion for it. So I started uh, a degree in, in university in physics and then because I did a, a project in my final year with the quantum optics group where I work now, uh, I loved it to bits and I joined and started my PhD immediately. <laughs> so what would you say to you, like young girls who think about doing science or physics? Um, well, basically, I think that because it's such a male-dominated area now still, we need to get sort out the ratio of males to females. I think that the females, the female input in physics is very important because we think in a very different way, and I think we approach problems with uh, a different, a, just a different sort of approach to problems. And uh, I think that sometimes where males may not think of a particular um, Let's say answer to something, then a female will, and I just think this is really important, you know, to just to progress okay. our knowledge. And who inspired you as well? Oh, um, one of my major inspirations is my dad, actually, because he he left school when he was really young and he didn't complete any of his uh, education, and he was always interested in science, but he had a very layman's understanding of it. So um, he really inspired me when he was talking to me when I was younger about all sorts of things, cold fusion and everything, and. Um, now that I'm doing a PhD, it's defi definitely my supervisor, Sheila, who inspires me. She's just a role model. Okay, and what are you going to do next, anyway? Next? Well, I have to finish my PhD. Um, so, so I'm about halfway through, and after that I would like to, I really would like to continue an outreach, because I think it's just so rewarding. So I would love to, even in Ireland, just be an outreach officer, because I think this, that in Ireland this is really lacking, and I think that I would like to bring some more optics and information to kids so they can consider physics as a career opportunity.